Okay, we're back. Um, we joined this run already in progress. I There will be spoiler alerts. First, I forgot I had turned the music up because I had no intention of recording this. I was just kind of doing another run with uh, the Model 101C starter ship. Uh, I put no money into upgrades, was banking money along the road, and uh, just buying fuel and, and repairs and things like that as I went. Uh, we are at the second substation from the final destination of this level. Now, I, keep, I kept saying in other videos, the first level. Spoiler alert again, and there will potentially be more. Uh, this isn't the first level. This is the end of the game. So, yes, uh, I beat the game. Now, I'm glad I didn't have 600 here and there wasn't a bank because I had seen this in an earlier playthrough and I wanted to buy it. Uh, but it was so unnecessary to how I determined this run needed to be done at the end. At the beginning, I had spent time uh, going slow, keeping off the fuel, pacifying the passengers, uh, making all the stops to pick up extra passengers for money. Yeah, I realized that that had to be flipped on its head for the end run. And you've got to throttle it, um, I guess, judiciously uh, to get to your destination fast while ignoring the passengers uh, unless they're going to sabotage your systems. So here we go. We have asteroid, asteroid belts, and the high-speed comets coming up. Now, uh, I do remember uh, between flights at the next substation that the volume's up and I turn it down. So I apologize for that because you might actually hear me better. So I just check to make sure nothing's in the way. I put the wrench there and that was dumb. It was so unnecessary. Uh, it actually gets in my way shortly. So here I am. If you're watching the gas tank or, you know, gas can I was pushing forward letting off pushing forward got super lucky with the asteroid belt saw that there was a gap right ahead of me dead up the middle and uh, made a beeline for the goal line and uh, yeah didn't even really have to turn there don't even know why I did so check the map nothing I decided I was going to dance for these people to keep them off my back um, I don't know that it was necessary, but obviously in hindsight, I don't regret it because it didn't hurt me. So here I go to check the navigation and I keep picking up the stupid wrench. So wham, there's the fuel station that I was going to need. So I just start throttling it for that and I saw there was a high speed comet coming in. I had thought about stopping at the rest stop of the bathroom. To avoid the comment but I realized no the gas station's right here I'll use that so while we're docked at the gas station filling up comet zips over our head and uh, catastrophe avoided potential ca catastrophe so wide open 624 AU uh, astronomical units I suppose now the second that starts messing up I repair it and the four uh, three other devices that I would potentially need. So I know it's open. I had already checked. So now I'm just throttling. I double check because I wanted to see if there was more fuel uh, was what I was really looking for. And not seeing it, I'm doing the back and forth on the fuel. You know, getting to that destination as fast as possible. Passengers have done nothing to interrupt me for once. So that was good. Again, nothing in front of me. I was hoping for fuel, but I decided I don't care. I know there's a fuel station at the next stop. I'm just going to go for it. So I started, oh yeah, the Comet. If you zigzag and the Comet hits you and you have no hull damage, it only takes around half your hull damage. So again, got lucky with that one and got even luckier finding the fuel station here. So I realized, you know, I have enough to throttle myself there. I considered kind of coasting in to the uh, final station, the substation there. But when I noticed there was going to be a high speed comet, I said, no, I'll just fuel up here and I'll fuel up there. So uh, that was it. We're going right to the next substation. And 
no passenger interaction besides a couple dances, if I remember. That was the only thing that happened. So, uh, got really lucky in, on that leg of the flight. So, here we are at the last substation before the final destination. And, uh, again, good thing there wasn't a bank. I might have, I might have done something stupid not knowing and bank money thinking, oh, if I die or maybe bought upgrades that I really didn't want to because I wanted to complete this uh, this uh, round uh, on with no, without purchasing upgrades. So somewhere around here, uh, I re real oh yeah, I get the red parcel and it's the ship as always. So I realized somewhere I think along the line here that uh, the volume was up and I take a second to go in the settings and tune it down so yeah the batteries I contemplated the battery over there I was like well I could do a food station I'm like that would be the stupidest thing ever I don't have time uh, to cook for anybody I, I need to just fly fast so I go ahead and remember to repair the hull at the same time I do all the systems I had plenty of cash and I couldn't remember how much of the system repair I had done but I thought I don't care anyway because I want to start throttling the second I get back in that ship and start out on flights. Um, I was lucky I had the inspector on the ship right before I started recording and I did just good enough to get him out of there. So uh, I think if he would have been on there for that last leg, I might not have made it. And I definitely probably wouldn't make it on this leg. He, he just, he stands in your way and you can't budge him at times. And he's caused me to crash before, so. Okay, well, yep, here it is. I'm sorry, you'll actually possibly have to hear what I'm saying now. So. On this final leg of the flight, they throw everything at you, all five types of obstacles. I think it started off again with the asteroid belt and I noticed uh, right before I started to record the audio for this video that someone had made a comment, how do you uh, how do you get past asteroid belts? Well, me, right up the middle because I keep having gaps, but other times uh, I have had to go parallel to the asteroid belt and kind of just look for a better opening because uh, where I was uh, headed wasn't going to make it. So here I don't even bother dancing right to the navigation, nothing in front of me. I knew there wouldn't be, but just in case I wanted to check. And now I am really starting to get heavy handed with the fuel. If, uh, But I had no regrets. I, I wanted to push as hard as I could. I mean, this gap seemed even bigger than the last one. I think it was actually. So I was miffed about those two passengers standing up there by the navigation system. But for the most part, I just decided I have to ignore them. Got incredibly lucky yet again, finding a fuel station right on the other side of the asteroid belts and uh, just burnt it up to get there. Uh, again, lucky it wasn't a bank because I probably would have deposited the money. So at the at either of the last substations, so saw I had a wide open gap again uh, in the you know nothing. Sorry about that. Nothing in the uh, way, and just decided to hit be heavy handed on that throttle again, completely ignoring the mopes around. Now. Once I recognized that I was going to miss that uh, fat asteroid, I decided I, I got to check the systems uh, because I might not have time later. So I check all four systems and right back to the throttle. I was disappointed there wasn't a fuel station, especially since I saw I had burn up quite a bit, but I knew I had to just keep going. Uh, especially when, you know, those once those passengers start to get going, uh, it's problematic and they do get going on me so now that we're coming up to the asteroid jungle uh, I was really getting worried I could not find a fuel depot and 
I was afraid. I, I knew I couldn't zigzag. I couldn't go left or right. I really had to kind of keep toward that destination. So I just did my best. And when that one popped up right there on the map, you see, I immediately go for it. And then I noticed this guy's getting ready to kill the battery. If you throw them in the seats, sometimes it will stop them. It did not stop him. So I just saw that I had a wide open zone. I just did the dance, turned around and uh, right before, I don't think I would have hit that asteroid, but maybe I uh, called in the fuel station and got lucky and got pulled over there. So I didn't have to worry about taking damage if I was gonna hit it. So just fighting with these guys, keeping them out of there both of them and then like an idiot i throw the one right into the battery but here's what i said in another video you know use these partitions if you can keep the people on the one side of the partition you can just dance there and it'll stop them from coming through uh to create problems for you so here comet came through i got super lucky and avoided that i think that was a comet yep and then uh just still navigating the jungle and i could tell okay i'm practically out of this uh, and then I saw there was only 360 some AU, saw the guy getting a little bit frustrated or, you know, devious, but then I realized, oh, he's just got the wrench. I don't care. I'm just going to go right for, I saw the, you know, the systems were starting to fail. That one scared me when they came for the battery. So I danced because I realized at this point I have enough gas. The second I'm back, I'm gone. I'm headed right for the uh, final destination. So I made one quick check to make sure I wasn't getting ready to hit something immediately. And then I just start, f I floor it. I just absolutely floor it and uh, didn't even check to see there were two fat asteroids right here in front of the, uh, or beside the uh, final destination, but went right between them, kind of like an asteroid belt. And that's it. So again, um, I had no idea, having not watched anyone else play this game, that this was going to be the end of the game. But no, no disappointments. I really enjoyed this game. I want to thank the developers, thank anyone who's watched any of these videos or any of the others that I ever posted. Still don't know why y'all do, but thank you. And uh, thank you to anyone who comments, uh, subscribes, likes, dislikes, uh, hates. Uh, unsubscribes thanks to everybody appreciate y'all um i'm gonna go ahead and let everything just run out without audio commentary um because why not the developers put a lot of time into the game and it's the end credits so um trying to think what else so yeah that was the model 101c starter ship i bought no upgrades I only used uh, the free navigation system I got in one of the purple parcels. I put up a parcel video earlier talking about the five color-coded parcels and what are in them. So you could check that out. Uh, what else could I talk about? The uh... Yeah, that, I, I want to go back now and play it with some of the... I think I've opened up all the ships now or all but one of them. So I'm gonna go back and try the game again because I know one of the achievements is to beat the entire level without or with five stars. So obviously I beat it with zero. I'm not too impressed with that. But with the starter vehicle uh, and you know, no purchased upgrades. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. So uh, if you see red packages, those are ships, that uh, ship designs you can unlock. Um, the rest can have money, uh, green, or I'm sorry, white parcels only have money. Uh, the green, the blue, and the purple can all have money or other kinds of things like uniform designs and company logos. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is a fun game. So thanks again to the devs and uh, anyone affiliated with the game. Thank you uh, to Xbox for bringing it to Game Pass because I was really looking forward to it when I saw some uh, the, the trailer to it. It just looked goofy and right. So I look forward to keep playing it a little bit. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, oh, by the way, I'll be right back.